Discover the exquisite beauty of Islam with our exclusive poster collection showcasing the 99 names of Allah. Each poster meticulously presents the Arabic name, pronunciation and English translation, embodying the essence of our Creator. Elevate your surroundings with these high-quality designs that not only serve as art, but also offer a glimpse into the profound beauty of Islamic culture. Immerse yourself in the collection and unveil the magnificence of the 99 names. Links in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today amazing video. We're gonna react to how Islam is growing in Thailand. Shocking changes to Thai youth. So I say amazing video because in case you don't know, I am living in Thailand and moreover, I reverted to Islam in Thailand. I wouldn't have believed it myself because roughly eight years ago, I stepped foot for the very first time in Thailand and I associated Thailand with all kinds of fun, travel, food and moreover, Buddhism, of course, because Thailand is as well called the land of the Buddha. Eight years ago, I was into Buddhism, Hinduism, the New Age, and I was absolutely fascinated with Buddhist culture and I explored the temples here in Thailand. Therefore, I would have never thought that I would revert to Islam in Thailand. First and foremost, I didn't think that I will ever revert to Islam, but then in Thailand, this was absolutely mind-blowing to me as well. Nevertheless, since I'm living here in Thailand, I see it every single day. We have Shahadas every single day, Alhamdulillah, here in Thailand. And therefore, I'm very excited for today's video. Guys, before we jump into it, do me the favor, if you enjoy my content, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support my work. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. That is Welcome Bangkok. to Thailand, a land known for its Busy vibrant street, culture man. and rich history. I can tell you a story about that. Uh, she's a converter. In this video, we delve into the lesser known aspects of this diverse nation. It looks kind of familiar. Particularly its Islamic Maybe heritage. I've been to this mosque, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Islam has deep roots in Thailand, records dating back over 1,000 years. The earliest records of Muslim presence in the region can be traced to the 13th century, with the arrival of Muslim traders from the Middle East and India. Yeah, India makes over the sense. centuries, of course. Islam spread across various regions of Thailand, influencing both culture and society. Muslims used to make up approximately 5 to 6% of Thailand's population to 12%, more than doubled since 2010, many reverted to Islam also affected this growth. Allah. Yeah, and that of course depends on the area of Thailand, because yes, in total, I think it's 12 to 15% in Thailand. However, you have cities such as Phuket, where roughly 80% of people are actually Muslim. So you have really densely populated areas in Thailand as well, where you have pretty much only Muslims living. It's quite fascinating. Is a Muay Thai legend. <laughs> yeah, Islam is huge here. And for people that ask Thailand, me sometimes, why don't you just move to a Muslim country if you love Islam so much? Yeah, honestly, guys, here in Thailand, I'm not restricted whatsoever. And as they said in this video, the population is growing. Islam is really on the rise here in Thailand. And in certain areas, it is like a Muslim country. 3,000 mosques. Oh, that's beautiful, man. I love when the mosques are distinct and they blend into the cultural fabric of the country. 
That's amazing. I've never seen a mosque like this. Uh, this In is the Islamic three center. southern this is where provinces took of Thailand, Yala, yeah. Patani, this and Naratiwat. Right? Looks exactly the same. Most of the people are descended from the indigenous people on the Malay Peninsula. The local language is the Yawi language. The social characteristics of the area are those of Malay Muslims, who form the majority of the people in the society and live in harmony with ethnic Thai and Chinese minorities. Alhamdulillah, you rub in Alameen. Arahman, you rahim. Malik, you middin. Ia can abud, Ia can a stain. At present, what a voice. there are about yeah, 1.4 million Thai Muslims yeah, in the three is. provinces, Islamic which Bangkok. accounts for 18% of the Thai Muslim population. Throughout history, Muslims in Thailand have coexisted If you are in peacefully. Bangkok, you really have to visit the Islamic Center. It's the most beautiful mosque in Bangkok, hands down. This is where I took the Shahada with Sheikh Uthman. With people of other faiths contributing to the country's cultural development. However, yeah, they have a food court like any community, well. they face unique challenges and opportunities. So like uh, in my office, I work in the Japanese company and no Muslim over there, only me. They're testing me like uh, they bring the pork Let's go now. for me eating. They used to bring pork and yeah. make it. Yeah, put they, well, they want to test me. Oh my God. I right. decide to be a Muslim, so let's see if you eat pork or not. Thailand's Muslim population has faced socio-economic disparities the and occasional <laughs> tensions with the government. However, Idiots. efforts have been made to promote religious harmony and inclusivity. Despite these challenges, the Islamic community in So I'm obviously not Thai, therefore I cannot speak on the behalf of Thai people. However, what I've been told is that the previous king was all about religious freedom. So Thai people explained to me that religious freedom was one of the main pillars of his monarchy and therefore they kept it to this very day. Therefore, I personally haven't seen any oppression against Muslims or any other religious groups in Thailand. You can absolutely practice freely. You see hijabis everywhere. They're not getting any bad looks. It is the opposite of Europe ultimately. There doesn't seem to be any clash between religions whatsoever. Thailand remains resilient, drawing strength from its faith and heritage. As the country continues to evolve, Islam will undoubtedly play a significant role in shaping its future. Inshallah, yes. Alright, guys, and this is it for today's video. Pretty short one, but nevertheless pretty impactful, especially for me personally living in Thailand, of course. I can only speak about my own experience, hence the channel's name as well, Bobby's Perspective, of course. In my little bubble here, I see Islam growing every single day. As I said, we have Shahadas here every single day. If you want to take Shahada in the Islamic Center, for example, you have to stay in line, basically. They have to make an appointment for you because they are booked. They're fully packed every Every single day, new reverts, especially from Buddhism, but other faiths as well. Buddhists, however, are the majority for obvious reasons, because Thailand is a Buddhist country after all, that revert then to Islam, alhamdulillah. I've met many Muslim brothers and sisters here due to my channel. They recognize me in the masjid or on the street. It is always a pleasure to speak to those people. And to my surprise, then many of them are actually reverts. Because you have to understand, I'm a foreigner here, right? When I see Thai Muslims, I of course assume assume, well, they must have been Muslim all their life, especially because when Thais become practicing, they adopt Islam absolutely beautifully. I met a revert brother and he was sitting in Subway eating a veggie sub. I will never forget that because that was the only halal option. He thought, later on I found out, no, Subway is actually halal as well here in Thailand. Be that as it may, he was in full attire and his wife was a hijabi. But then he told me that he reverted actually around the same time as me and at that time, given it was roughly one year, and later on then his wife reverted as well. And this is absolutely amazing because when the Thais revert, 
convert here, especially the women you see, they wear hijab right away. They take the religion as a whole. They're not cherry picking. It is so amazing to see. And moreover, talking to the population here, they told me that 10 years ago, roughly, the Muslims were not as practicing as they are right now. So the hijab, not only for the reverts, but even for the people born into Islam, was not so common as it is nowadays. So nowadays you see really a rise in Islam in terms of reversion, but even born Muslims are more practicing. So inshallah, the 12% will soon be 30, 40, and then Allahu Alam, what is next for Thailand? All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, check out the links in the description box to further support my work. And as always, may God bless you all, much love and peace. <laughs> Oh